Hey everyone, uh, Greg from My Mortgage. Hope you're doing well on the short week. Uh, just before um, uh, the long weekend, I thought I'd just touch base uh, about a few key things that were going on at the moment, and especially as we come towards that July 1st. Now, lots of you will know all this stuff. Uh, lots of you I've connected with over the last few weeks, and we've talked through this sort of thing. Um, lots of you, you're much more um, expert on this sort of stuff, especially like Brightline. Um, than we are, but just to kind of update you on where things are at. So July 1st, there's a few things change. So the first thing is the Brightline test drops back down to uh, two years. So that's where um, if you've got an investment property and you've uh, purchased that within the last two years, um, or even before that, the last three or four years, the Brightline test was five years and then got extended to 10 years on existing properties. And that was the time frame that if you made profit on that property, you needed to pay tax on it. And so um, that's been reduced back to two years, which is really good for those people who are looking to sell. Uh, we're not sh quite sure what it would mean from an investment point of view. Uh, are we gonna see uh, quite a few investment properties come onto the market? Or um, is there enough that's been done in terms of um, interest uh, deductibility and those sorts of things? Um, and interest rates just coming back a little bit uh, to mean that people are going to hold on to those properties a little bit longer. So we'll see. So that's happening on July 1st. Also, we've already had one bank uh, do it, uh, but uh, other banks will come to the party as well in terms of loan to value ratio. So the Reserve Bank announced that banks can go to 70% loan to value ratio, it has been 65. So again, not gonna make a massive difference, but for people with um, a decent sized portfolio of properties, uh, that 5% uh, could be 50, 100, 200K of extra equity that they now have access to. So uh, for some of our clients, that's gonna make a, a bit of a difference. So if you've got people who are asking questions about that uh, in terms of using the equity to do more, then we can have a look at that for them. Uh, also debt to income ratios come into effect uh, from July 1st, as I've mentioned before in these videos, we don't think it's gonna have a massive um, uh, change to what we see at the moment in terms of serviceability, it only affects that serviceability, but for investors, that's seven times their uh, annual income. So that's the income they get from their work, plus uh, any investment properties as well. So uh, with where interest rates are at the moment, especially the test servicing rates, we don't expect to see a massive change uh, with anything there from the debt to income ratio. In terms of where interest rates are at, at the moment, uh, just today we've had Westpac come back in line with the other banks. So looking at about 6.85% for 12 months. Um, we're seeing about 6.65, 6.69 for that 12 to 18 months. Some of the banks, sorry, the two year to 18 months, some of the banks have had uh, two year rates at about 655 and then all the rest at around that 639 mark. So um, yeah, starting to see everyone come back into line and then we'll see where that goes. Uh, with the GDP figures that were released last week, I think, and, and a negative GDP again for the country, um, we're thinking, and a few of the banks are supporting that, and maybe we'll see some interest rates come back in next quarter um, on, or towards the end of the year. So. Uh, so that's everything in terms of the quick update. Um, if you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, as I mentioned previously, so my family and I head off uh, overseas for a month from uh, this Friday. Uh, but Adam and Melissa from my team are still going to be here um, working through things. Um, they'll have access to my email, so feel free just to uh, fire it through directly to me. Uh, and they'll pick it up and go from there. Look forward to catching up when I return back. And uh, yeah, look forward to helping clients through that spring period um, as the days get a little bit longer um, and we see a little bit more movement in uh, the property market.